guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to Everyday Amazing You. So for today's topic, I thought I would talk about clearing a foggy head. This is a topic that was requested quite a few times when I first started my channel. So hopefully I can just give a few tips. I've got six that will just help you to clear your head a little bit if you're feeling a bit, ugh, just a bit foggy. So yes, I hope that they help. If they do, then please do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, if you've got any more tips, leave them in the comments below or let me know if you've tried any of these and they've helped. Okay, so number one is to change your scenery. If you're in bed, then get out of bed. If you're at your desk, then go into another room. If you're inside, go outside. If you're outside, go inside. When you've got a foggy head, quite often it's because not only have you got a lot on your mind, but you've got a lot of kind of sensory input from the settings and the surroundings that you're in. So for example, if I'm at my desk and I've got a foggy head, it's probably because I've got the glare of the computer screen, maybe the light above me, the temperature in the room, maybe the noise of the extractor fan. If you're in bed, maybe it's been, you know, got it. <laughs> Sometimes all you need to do is change those senses, give your mind like a bit of a, a sensory flush. I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah, just like a bit of a, a cleanse. Change the temperature, change what you're hearing, change what you're seeing and smelling and tasting. And quite often that'll help you to refocus. Number two is to stretch. I have filmed three videos today and on each one, I have used stretching as one of my tips. I just think it is amazing. It makes you feel good physically like that. Right now it feels amazing. It makes you feel good mentally as well. It releases tension, which in turn releases stress. And it's just a good way to kind of kickstart your body into moving, kickstart those positive endorphins as well, help you to just clear your mind and refocus. Number three is to drink water. For me, when I have a foggy head, I quite often also feel a bit tired and a bit just like tense and maybe a bit of a dry mouth, which I actually do now because I'm talking a lot. And having water will refresh you. Our bodies are made up of so much water. We need it to be able to focus and to function. So making sure that our bodies are always opt up with water and well hydrated will just mean that we are functioning and focusing to the best of our abilities. So yeah, if you're feeling a bit foggy in the head, drink some water and hopefully it can just give you a nice refreshing boost, especially if it's cold. Number four is to get some fresh air. When I wake up in the morning and I'm still feeling a little bit tired, a little bit groggy, I open the window, I stick my head out and I take like 10 deep breaths of fresh air and it sorts me out. It makes me feel really clear headed and amazing. So why wouldn't it be the same during the day if I'm sat working, if I'm playing with my kids, you know, even out to lunch with my friends and my head is just feeling really foggy. Stepping outside for five minutes, getting some fresh air, taking some deep breaths, just even just closing your eyes. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling from your mouth. Yeah, that's just a really nice way to clear your head, letting some oxygen flow through your body. Number five is to write down what's bothering you. You know, really think about it. Okay, why have I got a foggy head? I'm stressed about work. I'm worried that I'm not gonna get paid on time. I'm, I've had an argument with that friend. I don't know, maybe I haven't exercised for a few days. I'm feeling heartbroken, whatever it is, write them down. And then ask yourself a question for each of them. Can I change it? If the answer is yes, then make a manageable list of the things that you can do to change it. If the answer is no, then make a list of the positive things, you know, the things that you can do, that you can change, the things that you need to do that you'll feel better knowing that you've done, any plans that you want to make. Fill your headspace with positive things. So for example, you know, I haven't exercised for four days. If the answer is yes to can I change it, then book onto a Zumba class, go to the gym tonight, ask your mum if she can come round and watch the kids so you can go for a run. Or put your toddler in the pushchair and go for a run with him right now. If the answer is no because maybe you've got an injury, then you might not be able to go to the gym, but could you do some stretching? Could you do a bit of yoga maybe? Or you could make plans for getting better book your physio appointment, book in some light exercise for after, maybe if you're having an operation or something like that. Have things to look forward to so that even the negative things, you can put a positive spin on and just have a real positive light around. And lastly, number six is to practice gratitude. If you are feeling foggy in the head, the first thing that I want you to do right now is realize, wow, you are alive, you are still here. This is something that I mentioned in the video that I've just filmed. It's from a YouTube video that I watched all about gratitude and it literally blew my mind. It said to set yourself a task every hour to stop what you're doing and really realize that you are alive, you are still here. You are here, you have choices, you have survived every day, every moment up until now. And when you do it, it's actually quite like overwhelming, like I'm still here. 
and in a couple of seconds I'm still here I am still on this earth I still have every opportunity every chance every moment to enjoy and live my life to the fullest and I just think that is incredible and once you've done that start making lists think of 10 things that you're grateful for you know maybe your family your job your car your friends your health um, your home things like that and then set yourself another challenge to do a hundred things that you're grateful for your family is one you can break that down into your partner your children your parents your siblings your aunties uncles grandparents your home is one but also be grateful for the fact that you can pay for your rent or your mortgage you can pay for the electricity to have light and heat in your home you have running water you have furnishings you have a choice of bedding when you really start looking into all of the things there are millions of things to be grateful for you know you can hear and see and speak and touch you can embrace you can you can be grateful the fact that you can be grateful is the biggest thing to be grateful for in itself so yeah i feel like i got very passionate about that then but yeah when you practice gratitude you'll start to focus on the positive things and hopefully whatever the reasons are that are making your head feel a bit foggy will just be pushed out and be irrelevant so yes those are my six ways to clear a foggy head i hope you found them useful and if you did please do let me know in the comments below thanks for watching bye